When it comes to working with IoT, uh, you can on one side connect devices, extract data from the services that are collecting data in the cloud, but there's one more thing that you need to think about, which is diagnostics on these services. If IoT Hub sees something going wrong, it has out of the box functionality to log the problem, the errors, the messages, and so forth, so they can go back and figure out what the issue was about. John is here on the IoT Show today to tell us more about diagnostics with Azure IoT Hub. Hey guys, this is the IoT Show. I'm Olivier, your host, and uh, we'll be talking about Azure IoT Hub Diagnostics and, and logging. And I have John Leon with me today to talk about that. John, thanks for coming to the show. Thank you. Well, John, before we jump into the topic itself, mm -hmm. we want to know more about you. So who are you? What are you doing at Microsoft? Um, yeah, so I'm a PM on uh, Azure IoT platform team, and my focus is to look at uh, end user diagnostics, logging, and monitoring. So I just kind of and really care about you know you being able to troubleshoot your problems, you know you being able to know when things go wrong. Okay. Yeah. So you're saying you're part of the platform team. So that's the team building the core services for Azure IoT. Yeah. The IoT Hub being that that uh, device gateway to the cloud. Yeah. Um, and and there are basically two main scenarios when using IoT Hub. The one you're focused on is that second one. The first one is connecting devices, basically using IoT Hub, right? Connecting mm -hmm. devices, extracting data from the IoT Hub. The second one is about making sure everything works. And yeah. when there's a problem, tracking where the problem is coming from, right? That's right. Yeah. And IoT Hub is equipped, and this is what you're going to describe. What exactly is it that IoT Hub has mm -hmm. out of the box? for you to monitor the health of your IoT application, right? That's right, yeah. Cool. So well, tell me a bit about these features that IoT Hub has, and, and uh, you have some demos for that as well, right? Yeah, so actually, let's get started. Let me go back to this IoT Hub. So I have this little IoT device here. So okay. what it does is where every time I press the button, it sends, sends a little message okay. to, um, to IoT Hub, and okay. it eventually it posts to Twitter. Um, okay. So in what well, we imagine <laughs> the world is like you have more than just one of these, mm -hmm. but uh, even with one of these, you can um, you can use our features to track you know all the messages sent to IoT Hub. Okay. You can see how many messages are sent per second, mm -hmm. and if things go wrong, like this thing gets disconnected, like it loses internet. Okay. I like, can unplug this; it'll lose internet. Okay. Um, uh, you'll be able to see it in our logs. It'll say disconnected. So you have a set of events that basically are logged within IoT Hub that are like the operational logs, right? So it's important to let um, us users understand that we have an integration with Azure Monitor Diagnostic Logs, okay. but you okay. first have to turn it on. So commonly, we, we get a lot of questions like, oh, how do I know if my IoT Hub, um, if my IoT device is disconnected? Or yeah. how do I know? Um, uh, I, I saw this error uh, on the client side, but I don't know when, when, what caused it. Okay. Um, or like, uh, you know, I think, I think my messages aren't routing through. Mm -hmm. So you, what you want is the service, lo service side logs, and in this case, it's what we call diagnostic logs. So okay. first thing you have to do is you have to go to your IoT Hub in the portal. Okay. You have to go down to a diagnostic settings, okay. and then um, you have to make sure that you turn it on. Okay, yeah. got it. It's very similar to other past services on Azure, right? That's right. This is a common... Uh, Monitoring solution for all uh, most Azure services have got it. Azure Monitor built, built in. Which means that if you have an app that actually uses several services, you can actually send all your diagnostics to the same center place where you actually do the monitoring of the Uber application that is uh, aggregating all these services. That's right. You can use uh, Azure Storage. You can use Azure Log Analytics. Okay. I really like all Log Analytics. It's, it's really fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then um, you can use it to do log search. Okay. Um, Okay. or IoT and other stuff. Okay. Yeah. So what do you do in pressing the buttons actually is getting logged somewhere, right? Yes. So if you go to metrics, mm -hmm. um, and, you, and you type in telemetry here, okay. you see telemetry sent attempt. And this is last 24 hours, so let's just go to the last 30 minutes. You can see that these each time the, this is like me pressing a button. You okay. see I pressed the button five times within this minute, and therefore it <laughs> <laughs> ended up with five here. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a count of, the, yeah, per minute. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and then another thing that you can see here is. Uh, so, what, what are the kind of events you can actually you can log like that? So, the metrics, it's uh, usually it's, it's just a counter. It tells okay. you how many, how many messages are sent. It doesn't log, we don't log individual messages okay. until you 
uh, unless you tell us to route it to storage. Uh, okay. But we don't do that by default. Yeah, in IoT yeah. scenario, that would be too much. It would like, be too much, and it would be kind of weird for us to just peek inside at your yeah. messages. Makes yeah. Sense. So here, um, one thing that users often want to do is to uh, make sure that they aren't using up too much of their quota. Okay. So yeah. we have a we have a we have a uh, metric here called total number of messages used. Okay. And you can see that by me pressing a button, uh, the number of counter goes up. So it always gives you the latest snapshot okay. of the of the quota. So you can make sure. Um, you can come in and see, oh, I have used 50 out of my, in this case, is a free hub, 8,000, 6,000 okay. messages. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can actually set up an alert here. Oh, um, I was about to ask, how can you automate that? Because you don't want to have someone like look into the dashboard yeah. and always monitor that like yeah. manually, right? So you can automate alerting and, and things like that. Yeah, so you can set up an alert. Um, That says almost almost <laughs> ran out of messages. Okay. And then you can say I want to monitor the total number of messages used. Okay. And you can say, oh, whoops, total number of messages. I just scrolled there un unexpectedly. So you can s you can sort of see how it looks like. Okay. The preview, and you can say if it's greater than. Five thousand, right? Because mm -hmm. you know that's the that's the. There's gonna be a threshold limit. for that yeah, queue, yeah. and okay. Then you can, you can say email me. Okay. Right. Um, so in this case, let's just put in some lower number. So what are the it. triggers you can have? The, the email. Do you have other triggers? Yeah, you have uh, you have emails. You can set up a webhook. Okay. You can run a logic app. So lots oh, of things you can. Okay. Do. So yeah. yeah, you can imagine anything that will be monitoring what's going on, and eventually you can using the APIs of IT Hub, you can automate things such as going to the next queue or adding yeah. a unit, so that way you actually you actually cope with the problem of the limit of messages. That's right. You can yeah. do up and down scale automatically. Yes. You make sure you never um, are then. Make sure your messages are not timing out because you've run out of quota. Okay, yeah. That would be pretty bad. Yeah. So that's that's one of the scenarios. Um, I think you have other things you wanted to show as well, right? In terms of yeah. logs and. So here's that. That was a quick sort of show on the metrics. Yep. Um, so like I said earlier, you the first thing you want to do really to make sure that you are um, capturing everything that goes wrong is you want to turn on diagnostic settings. Yes. So here yeah. I've already turned on diagnostic settings. Okay. I'm piping everything to this log analytics okay. uh, store. Mm -hmm. So let's go to this log analytics, which I've already opened. So you can kind of see that it has this very nice interface, very, very fast, um, and shows you. Uh, and here, a couple clicks later, you're able to see everything, all the, all the, all the, all the logs that have been collected in the past Got day. It. So it would actually allow you to kind of uh, go into, into the past and see yeah. what happened when the problem happened, right? Yeah, yeah. So what you really want to do is have this enable while when. Uh, when you're when yeah. anything goes wrong, it's so not it, it's not on by default. It's not on by default. Which um, means that so is it is it something that is actually an additional resource that the customer pays for? That's right. Yeah. So and that's a bad question, but <laughs> so to um, when you turn on diagnostic settings, you send it. You can decide to send it to storage, log analytics, and uh -huh. event hub. So each of those have their own pricing. So storage is, I would say, pretty. Um, Cost effective, yeah. right? You're just yeah. putting putting all the uh, all the all the messages, all the logs into um, into storage, and we don't log all the things that happen. We like yeah. we don't log each time the message is sent. We only log um, connection events, disconnection events, and other than that, basically errors like routing errors, um, job errors, method Lots. errors. Yeah. So uh, if it's just an IoT hub, that doesn't generate that much traffic, and mm -hmm. therefore it doesn't cost that much. Um, storage. So I think yeah. it's a very good idea and, that you and, turn and the storage. value you get back from it, which is yes. actually being able to then backtrack an issue that happened in your application, actually yeah. totally outweighs the, the cost here. Right? That's right. Yeah. So here you can see that I set up a bad route, um, okay. a bad routing rule that is essentially um, point uh, has no good logic, and then uh -huh. you can see that it has uh, it was triggered, and then IoT Hub told me, hey. This log, uh, this routing rule doesn't make doesn't any sense. Work. It yeah. doesn't work. Yeah. So then it gets logged here. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. So if you find out that you're wondering why your routing uh, rules don't work, you should yeah. check out. So the instead of uh, instead <laughs> of trying and missing all yeah. the time, you just go back there, and well, you have to once again you have to activate diagnostics. 
have the thing happen, and then go back to the to logs, right? Yeah. OK, got yeah. it. So uh, commonly, we recommend, so you set up uh, an alert, mm -hmm. right, um, for something that goes wrong, maybe like number of routing errors. You can say yep. if it's greater than a certain number. Mm -hmm. uh, email me, then you can go into log analytics and, and really quickly do a search and find, oh, it's because I set up the yeah. wrong routing. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Great. Um, do you have something else I think you wanted to show as well in, in terms of metrics or um, what you, we went through already, I think? Yeah, I think I've, I've showed yeah. uh, pretty pretty much the everything cool. I want to show cool. at this point. Okay. Cool. That's, that's super insightful, uh, John. Thanks for, for that demo. And uh, if you guys want to learn more, we're going to add some uh, links to some resources that we have. And uh, next time you have some more news and some more cool demos about what you can do with Azure IT Hub, John, you're welcome on the show. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.